So we're here today at the park and I'm so thankful that we have access to parks and open space. And one example right here is my daughter. I mean, we just love coming to this park here. She gets to run around, she gets to attempt new skills. She gets to learn from other children that she meets here. And I just can't imagine what would happen if all of a sudden in, in the economy state that we're in, if parks and recreation programs continue to get cut, if access to open spaces, if access to gathering places, if access to the serenity and beauty of nature was cut from our budgets, I just can't imagine what my daughter and I would do if we didn't have a place like a local city park to come and relax after work, enjoy some of the day, uh, and engage in all these adventuresome activities that we have here. <gasps> there she goes. Now she's multitasking, she's going down the slide and she's handing out toys to people. She's learning a little bit about sharing. And I, I think the, what we're seeing in process is really about the power and the benefits of local parks where here we have an example of my daughter coming today to the park and she's interacting with kids that she's never met before and she's learning to share and she's playing with toys and she's expressing herself in ways that wouldn't be possible if we didn't have access to resources like local city parks. She's imitating what the other child is doing so she's learning as she's playing at the same time. In the past when we've come to the park she's not been that interested in all the different features that are uh, inherent in the play equipment and now as she watches other children play with it she's imitating what they do and learning through play at the same time. Trip! Oh, I got you! Keep going! Parks make life better! Uh, she's a little shy on camera. That was Parks Make Life Better in Alina Speak.